<laughs> in my mind, I was getting eaten by an anaconda or the Loch Ness monster. Oh. Like, it was. <laughs> Aiden, you want to do your intro? Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! I'm back, back again! again. <laughs> <laughs> we are here in Louisiana. We are at our RV park that we picked sporadically and it turned out really nice. Yeah, so we picked Louisiana because my sister is going to college here and so we made a mad dash from Arizona to Louisiana so that we could be here to surprise her. So we are going to kick off the episode showing you guys how that went. Well, that surprise was a bit of a struggle, but we pulled through. We made it happen, and now we are on campus. This is actually Peter's first time visiting an HBCU. Yeah, it's a big deal. It is a big deal. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be a whole new experience for you. Right now, we are going to go see my sister's dorm room, so let's go check it out. <laughs> and in typical overachieving parent fashion, we brought Aiden along for his first university tour. <laughs> I know, we gotta get you a southern onesie. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Baby, I uh, have a confession for you though. What is it? This is not my first move-in. Yeah, I had a life before you. No, your life before me does not count. <laughs> Mariah just got mistaken for a student that currently goes here to the school. How do you feel about that? You know, I feel pretty good. It means that I'm looking young, I'm looking cute, I'm looking fresh. Yeah, you don't look a day over 21? For real. <gasps> The surprise turned out really great. They did not expect to see us at all, which is always what you want when you're gonna surprise someone. And then, of course, we had to pick a place to stay. This is the place that we settled on, and thank goodness we did, because it is beautiful here. So we went on a little tour of the park, which we'll show you right now. the RV lifestyle. This park that we're staying at has a lake, 
but there's signs posted everywhere that we're not allowed to swim in it and we're wondering why. Alligators. Alligators. <laughs> <laughs> there are paddle boats though, so I'm wondering if you're able to like go out onto the water or maybe fish. Nope, wouldn't no? do it. <laughs> <laughs> not even kayak? I actually recently realized that I have a fear of open water. I had never thought about it before, but when we went wakeboarding and I was in the water by myself, even though I had a life vest on, I was so nervous. I don't know if I was nervous about drowning, but they told us that it was 150 feet deep and I just couldn't get it out of my head. That doesn't make any sense. You lived on a cruise ship for two years. I don't know. I just realized it. <laughs> <laughs> also, I was afraid that an anaconda was going to come up. <laughs> in Idaho? You have a better chance of it happening here than in Idaho. In my mind, I was getting eaten by an anaconda or the Loch Ness Monster. Oh. Like it was <laughs> Mariah is very creative. <laughs> Anaconda was gonna come and it was gonna be like, Ooh, and then they were gonna be on the boat and they're gonna be like, Mariah! <laughs> Quick comparison for you guys. We made it all the way around the lake and all you see down here are just trailers and RV buses, like big buses like this one nice, over here. Nice, like okay? really nice. Really nice, right? <laughs> we're not regretting or second guessing our choices here. We love our van. Look at this, look how, this is hilarious in a sea of trailers and cabins. There's our little baby. <laughs> Itty bitty. Little matchbox car. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Raining while it's sunny out there. <laughs> we are in the south so far for culinary experiences. Mariah's tried fried gator. I had some shrimp po' boy and catfish, right? Catfish, but I've had catfish before. It is my favorite, favorite food. I'm not gonna lie, the one that I got was okay. It wasn't as good as my favorite, which is from California. So I don't know, I might have to go hunt down some more catfish <laughs> because I guarantee you Louisiana has to have better catfish than Reno Valley, California. <laughs> <laughs> So now we are breaking out some kolaches. I was under the impression that kolaches are from Texas. Are they? I think so. I don't know. I don't know. Where are kolaches from? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know in the comments. So what do we have here in front of us? We have a sausage and cheese kolache. Yeah. And we have a Louisiana style boudin, I think, kolache. Boudin? Yeah. Ah. Uh. I've been talking about this. I've been seeing all the road signs that stop here for boudin, stop here, stop here. Well, I finally got one. Okay, so. you try yours first. I want to see your face. Peter is used to eating sausage though because he's Polish. They always have different sausages. Mmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. And mine, what kind is mine? Just regular Just sausage? Just sausage and cheese, yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I'm good. This was our first time sleeping overnight in the RV and what an experience it has been. Yeah! I definitely feel like we were, at first, we were kind of unsure what to expect when we came to this RV park because neither of us had ever really been to an RV park, let alone stayed the night. So I definitely was pleasantly surprised and I feel like Peter was surprised too. The showers were clean. Everything was really clean and it's actually been so quiet, so that's been really great too. We are not even five days into this trip and we are already bickering and starting to figure things out slowly but surely. And one of the things that both of us realized is that we will be responsible for our own things. What do I mean by that? Our cell phones, Mariah's contact lenses, clothing, anything you can think of. The last person that touched it, if you are responsible for it, you put it away. Exhibit A, Mariah's contact lenses. She's misplaced them a handful of times and she always asks me, have you seen my contact lenses? Sure, babe, I've seen them. They're right here at the footwell of the passenger side floor. <laughs> I don't know how they got there. <laughs> We are checking out of here of this RV park and we are headed to New Orleans.
We are having a blast walking around New Orleans. It is so beautiful out here and it is definitely a little hot. I'm sweating the buckets <laughs> over here, guys. <laughs> um, but we are enjoying ourselves. All of the beautiful scenery and the music and the vibes. It's all good vibes here. We've been here for about two hours so far and we've already had three people who follow us on social media come up to us and say hi. So if you guys ever see us in person, please let us know. Come on over and say hi. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. We never see people who follow us, so it's always really fun when we do. Aiden has a lot of fun with it too. Yeah. <laughs> First and last time I was here in New Orleans was when we were on Disney on Ice. We were touring and I was just telling Ryan like, oh yeah, this is the street that we were down when we were partying. What did you just say? I said everybody who comes to New Orleans goes down Bourbon Street. If you didn't, you missed out. Like that's the main thing. <laughs> Beignets. Oh, these are hot and fresh. <laughs> she is a master of the beignet. Mm. Still manages to make a mess. How was it? We had a blast in New Orleans and we have made it to our next destination just for an overnight. Who knows where our adventures will take us next? Bye! Bye.